This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place for you to get TCGO code cards. They already have Darkness of Blaze up on stock, so definitely check out the website and use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. They have a huge variety of code cards, so you'll definitely find something you like. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a platform I personally use every day. If you're from Europe, you're obligated to check out this website. You can purchase cards on here as well as sell your own cards to people all across Europe. And uh, they have huge uh, bargain sales right here as well as best sellers. And you can even uh, purchase physical cards uh, for instance, booster boxes of the new set. So definitely check it out. Uh, my Both of my sponsors, BoatDownStore.com as well as CardMarket.com. What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome to part 4 of this fantastic Darkness of Blaze party. Uh, this is the 4th booster box and the series, definitely check out the playlist. We already got a lot of great stuff, no Charizard however, but we did see uh, great cards like Santa Scourge, uh, secret rare cards like Capture Energy and the rest uh, like Crobats. Definitely check out the videos if you haven't already. This is going to be Darkness of Blaze part 4. Uh, my friend is also going to open this one up, so uh, it's the first time that he's going to do it on video. So uh, cut him some slack and we're definitely going to be having a good time. What, uh, maybe, yeah, the first box charm could actually work. I've seen people pulling crazy stuff in their first box. Uh, hopefully he will be pull pulling the, the money cards, the chase cards, Crobat. Yeah, it's his first box ever. First box ever. Oh, look yeah. how he is opening it. Oh yeah. my god. This <laughs> is uh, the left side of the box. We're gonna be time of his life. Time of his life. So <laughs> these are the artworks. See him smile. We have Charizard, Eternatus, Crimsnall, and uh, the Santa Scorch. And uh, he already has, of course, the Decidueyes that we already pulled on camera. So whatever he pulls, he can trade with any of us, which is gonna be awesome. So I wish you some uh, good luck charms. Thanks, Big. Oh yeah, uh, you're gonna have an awesome time. Opening packs is like the the best part about the a new set. People think about oh making decks and all that, but open and edit opening packs is the the fun the fun the most fun stuff you've ever done. All right. Okay, let's see. You remember how to do it? Yes. yes. Let's go. You have uh, just have to put it over here. Yes. Not in, the, not in the water. Not in the water. <laughs> in the water. Yeah. Three. Energy. One, two. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And then uh, the only thing I have to do is like uh, put your hand somewhere in the metal, like mm -hmm. over here, so uh, we can see it on camera. There we go. Yeah. We have Electric uh, Grimer. We're just gonna uh, mumble on about some good stuff. This is gonna be his first uh, ultra rare, maybe, or a holographic in his booster box. It was a white code card. Everybody's excited. And it is. Boom! Salamence! Ah, there we go. He said he was black. Uh, it's black on the top. Oh yeah, Salamence V is a great way to start this video. What can we say about Salamence V? Uh, the VMAX is also very fun, spreading 40 damage on two targets. This slaps 30 on everything with Welder or maybe with, of course, the uh, Porygon Z Special Energy Acceleration. You can get this going. We already posted the deck profile on the channel if you're interested to hear about Salamence VMAX. Be my guest. Probably gonna be a tier 2 archetype because there's more uh, better archetypes out there. My personal favorite from the new sets, people are asking me that a lot. I think Santa Scourge VMAX, I have to say that is probably my first uh, thing I would go to when a new archetype. The Sage is also fun, Eternatus is very good, but it is uh, very, very expensive. Not a lot of people. Well, it's uh, the uh, Teevil, I don't like this card. Reminds me, yeah, it has a moustache. I, I don't know why they are putting uh, moustaches on every Pokemon. Oh, Probopass, moustache. Oh, moustaches yeah. are awesome. <laughs> There's a lot more examples, the Teevil. More Pokemon with moustache. Uh, yeah, there is a, a towel in the kitchen if you uh, <laughs> uh, spilled some water here and there. So uh, otherwise, it's fine. It's just for her car. Oh yeah, maybe I can uh, put, it, put it away with this. Let's go. All right, just put them over there. It's fine. Okay. So this is gonna be the fourth pack. Oh yeah, the third pack. Let's go. Okay, we have a Diglett. There is Bampor, Bounce Suite, there's Dunsparce uh, going around. Cape of Toughness, very good card. Powerful Carlos Energy, there's the Starly, and the rare BAM! Golurk. We haven't pulled this one yet. It needs five energies to attack. How are you gonna be able to do that? I know triple accelerated energy works, but Psychic Energy. Max Elixir. Max Elixir. Yeah, it's a stage one, but doesn't, doesn't even work. Uh, this is gonna be worse and worse. We don't even have Malamar for Psychic Energy Acceleration, so this Golurk is never gonna work out. We've seen that Golurk uh, had some niche uses with that attack that you don't have any supporters in your discard pile, but I also didn't see the, the top tables. 
All right. right. Next pack, we have a hmm. Shelmet. Bound for. <laughs> There's a Daddy Ursa. Torchic. Okay. Chinotic. Rose. Rose brings uh, playability to every new VMAX out there for energy acceleration. Bam! Manectric. Manectric. It's cool Pokemon, but it's not very good in the TCG. Poor it poor. used to be very good in, uh, I, I think, Phantom. Phantom Force or something. Let's I, pull the Charizard. Let's pull the Charizard. Let's pull him. Yeah. Let's pull him. Yeah, it was Phantom Forces. That was a set I couldn't remember where Manectric was very good. Manectric, Mega Manectric EX. Yeah. Those were the days. As mentioned, Floku, you could have nine ultra rares or you could have four ultra rares. It all depends on your luck. And uh, certain ultra rares are worth more than others. Charizard, for instance. I don't know why people love Charizard so much. Uh, I, it's a very nice Pokemon. I love it as well. But to be uh, able to spend $80 for one card, hmm. There's a rare uh, Rose Tower and bam! Steraptor. This is the bird from which region? Hmm. Uh, Diamond Pool. It's Diamond and Pearl, yeah, correct. Diamond and Pearl was a very fun adventure. I wonder if we will see a, a re remastered version, actually a remake of that region on the Switch. That would be awesome, like Diamond and Pearl remastered return. That would be awesome. Okay. White, white. White code card. Let's pull some Eternatus. White. You got this. Easy. Or Charizard, yeah. Yo, Charizard? Yeah. I wonder which, uh, which card you're gonna be more happy with the Charizard or the Turnus. Butterfree! Let's go Butterfree! <laughs> Butterfree! Scizor! Huh. Okay, Tauros, Diglett, Scobit, it's the uh, Squirrel, Toxapax. Remember Toxapax? <laughs> Alright. Shinodic, come on! Ready? Butterfree! Let's go! Ah, Butterfree! 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 Oh, you got Butterfree! You just got Butterfree. Sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a $2 card, folks, and a pack is... Uh, For sale now on cardmarket.com. Yeah, definitely. Card mark if you want Butterfree. Uh, yeah, Butterfree is a nice Pokemon. It was one of uh, Ash's go-to Pokemon until he said, like, Butterfree, I'm releasing you. <laughs> You're too good. And then, wow, everybody was crying and uh, there was so much weirdness going around. Also, the shiny Butterfree... Ash. <laughs> Again, white. White gold card. Butterfree VMAX. Let's go. No. <laughs> uh... Another scissor. Another scissor? Nah, that cannot be the case. Sir, sir, sir. No. <laughs> Let's go. Crobat. Let's go. Carablast. Meltan. There's a Meltan. Remember catching Meltans in Pokemon Go? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nope. 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 <laughs> it, it, it didn't last that long, nope. right? <laughs> Steeny, wishy washy, and reverse. The shit you are! Yeah, cool. This is your, uh, My deck? your go to deck. Nice. Yeah. The good news is, the more and more VMAXs get released, the better this card will be because it is invincible for... Uh, yo, ciao! <laughs> There's, uh, of course, invincible for attacks from any VMAX that is trying to uh, ruin your day. If you pull a holographic, you might as well get uh, a Hoopa or a Decidueye out of it. Those are great. Another light card. Really? That's three back-to-back. -back. The RNG is getting legit. And now, because we're uh, doing this in one take, let's get some cola. Oh. oh, let's go, Butterfree! Let's go, Scizor! Nah, you don't. Yeah. You don't deserve Scizor. I would wish you get a Crobat so at least you have some drop power I behind you. I wish you get a Scissor. <laughs> yeah, you get a Scissor. Give me Charizard. Charizard, yeah, that would be awesome. Oh, two special energies at once, and right. oh, that's Butterfree! Butterfree! <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> God! Butterfree. Nice. Two Butterfrees are better than one. <laughs> at least a full art. <laughs> yeah, this card is even worth like. Three dollars! Yeah! And well from two ninety-nine to three ninety-nine. <laughs> Woo! Yoni, you can buy it. No. Why you, not? You could be playing a, a Butterfree fun deck. You're already playing grass in your Decidueye list, so... So, Joshua, you're going to build a scissor deck and you're going to build a, a Butterfree, Butterfree deck. deck. <laughs> oh my god. The scissor deck would be fun. It's meant to be. You can't escape it. Mm. Yeah. You can't escape, banana. You can't escape, banana. Prepare to die. Okay, uh, we Let's still go. need to be pulling some uh, turbo patches for, for you. A second there, I thought. Yeah, Bunnelby. Dr. Owl. Glimwood Tangle. There's a Alaron, Simipore, oh, no. Arctazol, Tarini, Tarina, whatever. That's for Gilly. 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 We're gonna knock on his door and say, here, five Tarinas. <laughs> We're gonna give all our Tarinas to him? Or what? Yeah, he, he can then make a poster in his wall, or in his room. With all, all Tarina. All Tarina, the wall of Tarina. Nice. Aren't there any ultra rare 
Tyrion's? Yeah, there's a Tyrion GX, I think. Yeah, there was a box, a collection box from it. Well, let's buy it for him. For his birthday. He didn't invite me to his birthday party. Freezy Perth? If you remember that, that's a, a very funny video about Dragon Ball. It's called Dragon Ball PP. PP. Yeah, very, very ridiculous. Okay, uh, moving forward with more packs, we have uh, Wimpot, Steeny, mm. Old PC, Garbage. Oh. There's oh. a Rose Reverse oh. and the Rare. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Not impressive. Not impressive. He already knew it was a green code card. No yeah. Rare for me. Yeah, I, I wonder why they are doing that. Putting white code cards and green code cards. I think they should be like universal. They can make it universal. Yeah, I know they do it for the weight, but they can actually make it the same color that we don't like know that it's gonna be a different uh, ultra rare or not yeah right now if you like let's say you go to a tournament and your constellation prize is one booster pack you open it you see a green code card and you go crying <laughs> you go crying and you go home that's how it happens most of the time yeah it's gonna happen to me yeah probably looking forward to it oh oh yeah i got first place what do you got i got one uh, constellation prize what do you get charizard oh crap that happens oh that's venelux you can paralyze opponents with it Oh yeah! Yay. I gotta do it. And you, the only thing you need is luck with some coins, I think. Let me just check that. Because Having the game isn't all about luck. The game isn't all about luck so far. Yeah, flip a coin. At I, scale, you know, you need to know how to flip the coin. Yeah, that's why you're playing the. <laughs> <laughs> you, that's why you're playing baby Dracopold. Yeah, you, you know how to flip the coin. That's why they use a, a dice for. Uh, Flips. Yeah, I remember people playing like official like coins and they like flipped and the, the coin went to the other player's table and people were very confused like do I reflip? It landed successfully on the table and judges had to come and it's weird. Just flipping a real coin like Yeah a real legal? a real coin is legal. In competition. Yeah. It's 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 legal. Bro, that's bro. But people don't do it because you get those weird scenarios like, oh sorry, it but fell on the ground and people have like... Oh sorry, I threw three tables away from me. <laughs> Diggersby. Diggersby. I don't need that. Throw it away. Diggersby. Who really likes Diggersby though? Who? I cannot believe there's a single person out there that his favorite Pokemon is Diggersby. Prove me wrong, post it in the comment section if you are a true Diggersby fan. But for us... Flipping a coin is like Joshua shuffling his deck. Wow, random. <laughs> what is that? You shuffle your deck in top 8 and your cards fly all the way over. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, the riffle shuffle and all that and suddenly one card <laughs> flies right. out. It's and a white card. It's a white code card. Remember guys, white code cards equals a holographic or playing, ultra rare. Playing a match and a random Grisma lands on your table. Yeah, I remember. Let's go. Let's go. Pull the Butterfree VMAX Rainbow Rare. No. <laughs> Scissor. Butterfree. Let's go. Butterfree. Se free, Secret free, free, Reverse and... Caparaja. Oh my god. Oh, don't I put it away. It's, uh, it's a holographic. I wonder if you pulled any other holographics. Well, I'm gonna check it out. A bunch of white code cards. cards. That, is there five white code cards there? Then it's correct. I think so. One, two, three, four, five. five yeah. That's correct. Okay. This is actually a better, uh, probably the most tankiest stage one you'll ever see. 190 HP, so you evolve, bam, 190 HP, that's more HP than a Crobat V. Bam! bam. And, it, and it also cannot be affected by special conditions, meaning you cannot burn it, not, no poison shenanigans, no confusion, not using the team yellow. <laughs> and you can also put it, uh, yeah, put it in fire. Blow it up with fire. A four retreat cost makes me think you can use buff padding to put its HP to a crazy amount of 240 for a one price Pokemon. It's better than Butterfree. It's already better than Butterfree, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carnivine, Simi Sage, oh, and Delcaddy. Now the cat's out of the back. Who knows? Now the cat's out of the dog. Wow, that escalated really quickly. <laughs> oh my god. There is four packs left in the left side of the booster box. Well, I did have a pretty bad start though as well so yeah but you ended with a crowbat right yeah yeah ended with a crowbat yeah no he ended with three ultra rares back to back in a row in a row it was insane so yeah you can have the same luck like me no <laughs> no he wants better luck i want better you want luck. more deciduous <laughs> well he already has deciduous only one though you have three other ones so i can make my deck today today <laughs> let's go Fans here, more little wishy washy, dino, deck trio, the rare fossil, simi sage, ah, uh, muck. muck, 
muck. Muck is here to ruin our day. Every time you pull a muck, you say like, I wasted my money. <laughs> but on the other hand, if you pull something like Charizard, you say like, wow, OMG. The, the cards are now flying around from excitement. The only thing we need is a good white coat card to get excited. And it's gonna be... Get out. It's... A green one. Aww. Spoiler alert. Will Don't it... spoil the watchers. The viewers, mostly they spoil themselves by just crawling over all the uh, all the pull ratios. Don't do that. Don't do that. Watch the entire thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyhow, thanks for the support, everybody that's still watching. This is uh, part four of the insane booster box either. shenanigans. Steeny, Furret, Electric, and Arctofish. You can have it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a fish which will never see the light of day. The only fossil Pokemon that I would like to make a deck with is Arctozol because it puts damage counters on uh, the opponent's Pokemon if they accelerate an energy from hand. Let's go! Another pack. What will we get this time around? Will he get some uh, good trainer cards? We have Turbo Patch in this list, Rose, there's uh, the Toughness Cape, or actually Cape of Toughness, Venalite, there's Teddy Ursa, Ursa Ring to go along with that, Heat yeah. Fire Energy. Simiseer, Toxapex, and this fella, yeah. Excavalier. Aww. Uh -huh. Every time you get an Excavalier, I think. Why is this card, uh, this Pokemon, not invented in Sword and Shield? It came out in black and white. It was like two generations too early, I think. Question was, uh, what did you think of the name? The, the Sword Ghost Pokemon. Oh yeah, uh, Aegislash. Yeah, it wasn't invited here, no? Yeah, oh, yeah, it was uh, introduced in X and Y. It was in Sword and Shield. That I don't know. Do you get an Aegis Slash? Maybe at... I don't think so. Yeah. What is going on? There's a white code card home coming, guys. Let's get it on. Spoiler! Let's Come on. Go. Butterfree! No! <laughs> Naked, Bounce Sweet, Schnubble, no. Meltan. Come on. Spike, Mutt, and... No. Tyranitar. I think everybody got a Tyranitar yeah. so far. Nope. Really? Don't get a Tyranitar, but yeah. Do you want one? No. All right, left side. We have another one. I'm gonna take your yes. Tyranitar. Don't take my Tyranitar. I'm gonna take Tyranitar to the whole town. All right, I'm sorry, I like I it. forgot. I <laughs> forgot. <laughs> Woo! Oh, look at the HP 190, 180, 140. This has the busted ability, though. Imagine a Decidueye having the same amount of HP like a Copper Raja. And people will have struggling issues with the uh, Decidueye. I lied. You lied. You see, everybody got a Tyranitar. Another white coat. Come on. Let me know what you already got in your uh, Adventures of Darkness Ablaze. Is this the right side already or is it still? Yes, the... it's the right side. Yeah, it's the first pack of the of the right side. Okay. Is there any luck? Uh, there is Dextricity. Uh, yeah. this, nice. this is the Risk Taker card. If you use a Twin Energy on this or a Triple Accelerated Energy, you can use the attack for one attachment and then flip a coin. Yeah, here we are, flipping coins again. If heads, you discard the top five cards of the opponent's nice. deck. If tails, you discard the top five cards of your own deck. So if you want to be losing in style, and if you don't have luck with coin flips, Toxtricity could be losing the game for you. Insane. Or winning the game. Glimwood Tangle is a stadium card, so remember that. Glimwood Tangle. It's, it's so sad that they actually uh, decided to ban Balalba and Bryson Man. I think they did that just to make Eternus V Max the. Another white power. Yeah, nice. The spoiler. the go-to deck. Spoiler. Uh, spoiler alert! Spoiler. Yay. I want to watch the video without any spoilers. I think the comment sections are spoilers enough. They're gonna say like, "Oh, nice Butterfree." <laughs> skip, oh, yeah. skip to that part. The first <laughs> right. one is gonna say first. <laughs> yeah, second. Always. Always happens. First. Oh, it is! It is! It's a it it is VMAX! Max. Boom! A $35 card. Nice. This is insane. Oof. The artwork. 340 HP. If the damage output wasn't impressive enough, then the HP is impressive enough. So it has the same amount of HP as Snorlax VMAX. And everybody said, play Snorlax VMAX for tanking capabilities. And you say, like, no, I'd rather use Eternus and also smack a huge amount of damage. It has the built in. Uh, yeah, ability to just have more bench spaces, like Skyfield did before it and Roaring Skies. Having a bench space up to 8 slots, slapping 30 damage for every Darkness Pokemon you have in play, adding it up to 270 damage. 
which is insane. It immediately pushes out tag teams out of the meta instantly. Okay. Well, that was very nice. That makes yeah. up for your two Butterfreeze, though. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Let's go. Balance with Schnabel. Malcolm. Bunnelby. Got to read uh, Pokemon Breeders Nurturing. You don't even need to read that uh, card. It's actually saying this is too. Yeah, too I think it be. Yay! You can have it. Yeah, look at the sunset. Okay. Let's look. Oh! This is actually uh, on the uh, Sword and Shield video game. I remember this tower over here. Interesting. Oh. Isn't that where the uh, the legendary Pokemon Kupfu was uh, introduced? Interesting fact. That's a very nice legendary Pokemon. I wonder in the uh, the TCG when they were gonna release it. Hopefully in Vivid Voltage. All right. I think there's about 15 packs left. So hopefully you guys are excited for some more boosters. And after this part, there's one more part left. So uh, stick around, guys, and you're definitely gonna have your Darkness and Laser Rangers. Another white code card. Spoiler. Yeah, Cloak likes to spoil people, but there's extra excitement when he does pull something nice from it, so. Now you can turn this VMAX. Like, turn this VMAX. Busted. Don't touch it. I wonder how people will uh, put their prize cards. They needed a bench slot of eight. They will have to get bigger playmats or put their prizes in another position. Powerful oh. Carlos Energy and uh, what? A double holographic? Yeah. Copper Raja number two. That means you're gonna have to make this as your second deck. Oh. Yeah, I think the Copper Raja is better than Butterfree. Definitely. I think everyone one is better than Butterfree. Okay, but Butterfree can actually slap 130 damage for three energies. I can slap 150 damage. Why do you hate for one energy. All that butterfly Yeah. What did it do to you? Well, for starters, it has the lowest <laughs> amount of HP of any VMAX. Second, it has a low damage output of 150. And, and the third reason is that it is weak to fire. So in this meta, Thank with you. that amount of HP, it will never ever survive. It turned this VMAX can one-shot it with only two uh, Galarian Zigzagoons and one scoop up net. Seeing as the deck plays a 4 4 off of these, Butterfree is never gonna survive. Zigzagoon still a thing. Yeah, Galarian Zigzagoon is uh, being put in lots of decks right now, all because of the scoop up net and Rebel Clash, so you can reuse the ability. Spoiler alert. Oh boy. Stop spoiling. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, really eight, nine. That's the tenth with a white code card. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Pull some gold. We want to see some gold. Okay, Rose. Reverse Flaffy and mm. Heatran. This is a holographic. Yeah. Look at it. One price fire type. The bad news about this Heatran, I would love it like it's a one price that just slaps 130, but no. It has the Raging Flare 80 damage plus 10 more for every damage counter on it. But seeing as you're a one prizer, you automatically get one shotted, so that a Raging Flare will never work out. Unless you're up against the CGY, maybe. Then you can uh, use the attack, but on the other hand, if you're playing Heatran, you're not doing it right. All right. No spoiler alert this time. Wow. Oh, wow, he's learning. <laughs> yeah. well, no, because if he doesn't spoil, it means it's a green one. <laughs> 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 okay, powerful Carlos energy. Clang, reverse Agron, and Serena. Serena. We're actually going to give all of them to Gillian. Yeah. You're watching it. Let's do this. Prepare your wall in your room. We're going to post them. Serena. Serena. Another one. <laughs> Insane. They keep popping up. Serena. I think we've pulled about five of them already. Maybe we could have to uh, put them in a frame. That could be a nice birthday gift. Isn't this his birthday already? Or is it at the end of August? I, rem I remember that his birthday is somewhere in August. <laughs> at least that's that. All right, another pack. Let's get some more luck in this place. Come on, Darkness Ablaze. The set that actually was going to be legal for the World Championships, which got canceled. Hashtag Corona. And uh, let's see here. Will there be another Ultra Rare in here? Bam! It's a Hondoom V. Yeah, it's a pretty good card. You have Welder in the format. You have Spike Mud. You can slap 200 damage for three energies. So that is uh, not too shabby. Let's go. 
That's five ultra rares. Ta -ta. You could have more, you could have only five. It all depends on what the luck provides you. Also, this time around, you got an ultra rare without spoiling. Hooray! <laughs> Hmm. Two V Maxes, three regular Vs. It's, it's Gilly's birthday tomorrow. tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? So it's tomorrow. All our cards. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it's tomorrow. Prepare yourself. Okay. Hey, Dragon. Tomorrow? I wonder if there's gonna be a drink or something. Probably not. Probably not? That's it's like Corona time. time. It's Corona time. I know, but still. Like, party with mouth masks. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, about nine packs left. Torchic, it's the best chick of them all. Torchic. Okay, here it comes. Oh, it's Hondo V Pollard. Oh yeah, this pattern looks very nice. Yeah, with the the black and the the pink, very cool. Double Hondo. Yeah, maybe a Hondo deck. It would be good. You can slap 200 damage for two prizer, maybe or adding. One shot Butterfree. You can one shot Butterfree with it. Oh, OP. Nice. Oh, that's OP. You can one shot Zation with it, very consistently. Zation is probably still gonna be tier one with Arceus, Dalga, and Palkia, the ADP decks. Yeah, ADP is probably still gonna be tier 1 or tier 1.5 because of uh, the uses of the Dene and Crobat. Even though they cannot one-shot VMAXs, they just gust around it. They use Mawel to put basic Pokemon on their bench and then they just use Boss Zordis on those basic Pokemon. So that's how they win. It's a Benelux! Yeah, because this is uh, recorded in the summer and uh, it's very hot outside, maybe getting some ice cream. That brings me an idea. The Benelux. Yeah. I have a couple of them laying around in my uh, yeah freezer, so after this video, it's ice cream time. Stop! Ice cream time! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's see. A dino. It's a dino. A Jigglypuff. A Dunsbear. A Clink. I don't... I don't want to know this guy. <laughs> I don't want to skip it. The Pokemon Breeders. Some bus guns. Don't parse again. Yeah! Diggers oh. B! That's your third one. Yeah. What do you think? The Diggers B deck. <laughs> no. Can it one shot Eternus? How much damage does it do? I wanna know. I wanna know. <laughs> it cannot one shot Eternus, so leave it in the bolt pile. Oh boy. Let's get it on. There's silence before the storm. Yeah. What's gonna be in Go. this pack? The Simeon. <laughs> Wimpa. Grimer. Grimer. A big parasol. Shinodic Rose. Shkova Dan Brand. A Mew. We. Mew. Nice. Mew. 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 Okay. Very cute. Mew is probably one of the fan favorites. I, I do love the design of Mew. Simplistic and. It's <laughs> not a Mew, but. <laughs> oh, Mew, Mew too. Let's fight. Fight. It's like the first movie. You're just a clone. I'm better than you. Yeah. <laughs> Mew. The, the good thing about Mew is that it has free retreat. So even if you start with Mew, you can still swap to your Jirachi or whatever and do some stuff. The best thing about Mew, the free retreat. The worst thing is it needs two psychic energies. And without Malamar in the format, how are you going to do that? Turbo patch, have some luck by your side. Who knows? Spin around. Spinarak. It's dark. What? Yeah, uh, the poison types have swapped over to darkness type and the fairy types have swapped over to psychic types just because the Pokemon company decided let's make it more balanced. Let's uh, let the dragons do their thing without weakness. How we it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I wonder why. Left. Yeah, one fun fact about the poison types is like in base sets this all the way fun back fun. in 1998 or 1996, mm -hmm. they actually decided to put the poison type in the grass category. <laughs> In Diamond and Pearl, they swapped over uh, to the uh, Psychic types, and now they swapped over to the Darkness types. So they don't know what they want, the Poison types. They're confused. Poison they want to poison the entire TCG. Like, uh, I, I, I reckon, in about a couple of months, they will be uh, the Fighting type. <laughs> Sinistee, Hiding Dark Energy. 
Barristack. And my Lodic. My Lodic. Yeah, my Lodic, the holographic. Who remembers Shrine of Punishment? Yeah. This actually would have been a nice tech against that, healing 20 damage for all of your Pokemon, but it came too late. It came too late. Nice. Nice. The turn is VMAX, probably your best pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Me. Seven heads. Me. Me. Nice. Me. 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 <laughs> I don't know about my Butterfreeze. I want to buy that to turn this. Buy that Butterfreeze. Two euros. Sure. I want that Dark Tricity. Buy it. Yeah, there's gonna be a whole lot of training and stuff going around after the videos. And then we can chillax and eat some ice cream. So hopefully you guys have fun with these... Uh, Awesome videos, they're Maybe pumping out every day, so uh, you guys have uh, stuff uh, to oh, watch. Oh, it's COVID. It's COVID. It's COVID-19. It's COVID-19. We have to make a t-shirt from it. Yeah. It's COVID-19. Looks a bit like you. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm in hibernation now. Mm. Oh, hi, Dragon. Another one. Hi, Dragon. Two packs left. Two pack is here. <laughs> Let's make some changes. Come on. Don't spoil it. No pun intended. Or is. It was. <laughs> Everybody knows. I said, give me the white. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, two packs left in this video. Are you guys excited or what? We haven't. We only seen one gold card on video. There was one pulled uh, off screen as well. So that's two gold cards Sorry, out of six count. boxes. Sorry. Count. Yeah. Bam. It's an Ampros. Mm. And now Arn is gonna watch these videos at home and say like, haha, they haven't pulled lots of Eternatus. Mm. And I wonder, I wonder if he will get any. Maybe Yodi can uh, prove everybody wrong by pulling two Eternatus. That would be awesome. Or Crobats. I've only seen two Crobats so far. Let's just go for the Yeah, the Charizard. That Last pack. Last pack, let's go. What will be in here? Nobody knows. Except you guys that's uh, fast forward this video, you already know them. It's gonna be a Charizard. It's gonna be Charizard. Let's go. Vanillite, Gatta, Nicket, Shelmet, Larvitar, Gotorita, Pierce. I like that supporter. Powerful cars energy. And BAM! Oh, the the cat's out of the bag. That was the last vi yeah, not the last video. There's still more videos coming. That was the last pack of this booster box video with Floku. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to mouse the like button. Let me know what you already got from Darkness of Blaze. The best pull, of course, was this Eternus VMAX. Will it be as good? I already tested with Eternus and it seems to be uh, very promising. It is as good as the people say. So hopefully you guys had a blast. Subscribe for more content. The next video will be uploaded very shortly. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video very, very shortly. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.